is it possible to do a corporate job and to do clinical practice in the evenings and in the weekend this is a question we have got from one of our instagram followers that is can i do both non clinical and clinical dentistry so if you want to know our reply to this question then stay tuned <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Satish Kumar and this is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Today, we are going to answer whether it is possible to do both non-clinical and clinical dentistry. We will divide this video into three parts. First, are there people who are doing that? Second, what is our opinion about it? And third, if you are planning to do it, how do you start? So let us begin. The first thing, are there people doing it? Yes, there are quite a lot of people who are doing both non-clinical and clinical dentistry. I will be giving you examples of three. First is a guru or a mentor of mine. What he does is he does a nine to five job in a medical transcription company. He then does his patients in the evenings and at times on the weekends. The advantage he has is his wife is a dentist so she manages the practice when he is not around so your question will be should we then only think about it if we have a spouse who manages clinical practice the answer to that is no the second example is of a person who's doing this since around 12 to 13 years he does clinical dentistry only on the weekends and his corporate job during the weekdays. The third example is of a young guy who I know, maybe a year or two years junior to me. He does the same, but his clinic is open during the weekdays. He has arranged for associates who manage the practice during weekdays and he himself sits there on weekends. So yes, there are people who are doing it. The second part is, should you do this? This is basically a personal opinion. I feel in the long run, sustaining it becomes difficult because it drains a lot of energy. But there are people who are proving me wrong. So this is basically a personal choice, whether you feel you can manage it or not. The other question which arises here is work-life balance. But again, work-life balance might be different for you and might be different for me. For some people, 60% work, 40% family is the exact balance. For some, 60% family, 40% work is the exact balance. Who decides? Not others. It's you. I personally did something similar for three years. I was doing my MDS in the mornings and running my practice in the evenings and the weekends. I remember it took an extreme toll and a lot of effort to do this. I don't see myself sustaining it for a duration of 5, 10, 15, 20 years. But there are people who are doing it for a decade or so. So whether you should do it or not, you can give it a try and then decide whether you are enjoying it or not. Before we move ahead, I hope you are subscribed to our channel because we keep coming up with such videos to help you succeed in dentistry. And do not forget to follow us on Instagram because we keep posting exclusive content there as well. Then comes the third part. That is, if you plan to do it, how do you start? I would advise you, if you're planning to do this, the most crucial thing to remember is distance. Why distance? Distance from your office, that's your corporate job, to your house and to your clinic has to be extremely short because we all have the same 24 hours in a day. So if you are spending a lot of time in commuting, then doing a clinical practice would be next to impossible. So what do you do? Find a corporate job which is near your house or shift your house to where the corporate job is. After that, find a clinic nearby who is willing to hire you on 
the evenings and in the weekends. Yes, there are practices who require dental associates or associate dentists only in the evenings and the weekends because that is the time they have a lot of patients and they need some help. So if you can find such a clinic, such a corporate job and you stay nearby them, you can give it a try. If you succeed and you realize you are enjoying doing it, well and good, you can continue as long as you can. If you fail and you realize that it's a lot of time and effort but you want to either quit one of them, I would still call it a success. Why? Because at that point of time, you would be aware where you are getting a pull towards or attracted towards. Is it the corporate job or is it clinical dentistry? By that time, you will realize what you want to do more. So if you are keen on doing both, go ahead, give it a try and take a decision whether you want to do both of them eventually or either one of them in the next few years. I am Dr. Satish Kumar. This is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed.